before we can start working on any projects, we have to first create a document. And to do that, we can left click on the new file button here, or we can go to the file menu and click new. And then you will see this menu, which consists of many presets that comes with the software. So let's say I want to create a menu for a restaurant, all right, an A4 size menu. So what I'm going to do now is I will select the A4 size template. And over here, I will set my file name. So let's call it menu design. At the bottom here, this is the size of the document, the width and the height. And over here, we can see the different measurement units that we can select. So I will go with centimeters, okay, something that I'm more familiar with. And for the orientation, an orientation is basically the way in which the rectangular paper, or in this case, the Air Force size is oriented. So I will go with the portrait orientation for this demo. And the next one, artboard, is basically how many pages you want in this document. So for now, I will stick with just one. And the next one is called bleed. We'll be covering on bleed in our upcoming lessons. So I'm going to skip this part for the time being and let's look at color mode. And since I'll be printing out this artwork, I will go with CMYK color mode so that the color that I will be seeing on the screen and when it gets printed out will be more accurate. And of course, to print out a high quality artwork, we have to use a high pixel per inch count. So let's leave it as default CMYK and 300 PPI. And next, I'm going to press create. And what we have here is the user interface of Adobe Illustrator. On top of here, we have the menu bar. So when I say file menu, edit menu, I'm referring to the top menu over here. And at the bottom, we have the control bar. And if you don't see the control bar over here, you can go to window and make sure you take control. The control bar will be very useful because this is where all the shortcuts menu, the shortcut panel is located. So we would want to keep the control bar on the whole time. And on the left side, we have the toolbox or the toolbar. This is where all the different tools are located. And remember to go to the window menu and make sure that you select the advanced toolbar because if you select the basic toolbar, you are very limited to only a few tools. So make sure you go to the window menu, toolbars and change to advanced. So you get the full set of the tools. And if you click on this icon here, you can change the way the tools are arranged. But for me, I will just keep it like this. And on the right side, these are called panels. Panels are the tabs of certain tools where you can pull it out and rearrange them in any way that you like. You can place them together in a folder or group like this. You can place them at the side like this. So make sure that you hold down left click and drag the panel and move it to the corner. And you will see this blue color line, which indicates that you can dock this panel on this particular part. So I can do the same over here. I can dock this color panel all the way on top of here. To access to more panels, all the panels can be found inside the window menu over here. So let's say I would like to have the gradient panel. So left click on the gradient and you will get this gradient panel just like this. All right, now let's bring out a few more panels. So let's bring out the Pathfinder panels and let's bring out, let's say the transform panels. Let's assume that this is the workspace that I will be using a lot. All right. So what we can do is actually we can save this workspace, this custom position by going to the window menu, workspace and click on new workspace. I can set a name for this particular workspace. So let's call it my favorite workspace press OK. So after some time, after you have moved your panels around, you might want to reset everything back to the default workspace. What you can do is you can go back to the window menu, workspace, and click reset my favorite workspace, and you will get back the original position of the workspace that you have saved earlier. One thing that you need to remember throughout the entire lessons is that whenever I mention the shortcut key such as Control C on Windows, it basically means command C. All right. So control on windows is command on Mac and alternate is option on Mac. So what we have here in the center is our artboard that we have created just now to move the artboard. You can hold down your middle mouse button to move your artboard around. 
or you can hold down spacebar on your keyboard to bring out the hand icon and hold down left click and you can move the artboard as well. To zoom into the artboard, you can hold down alternate key and scroll your mouse wheel to zoom in and zoom out. You can also use the shortcut key, right? Control plus or control minus on your keyboard. For Mac user, it's command plus and command minus. Another way to zoom into the artboard is to use the zoom tool. The shortcut key for zoom tool is Z. So hit Z on your keyboard and hold down left click to drag the artboard like this. Hold on left click on your mouse. You can hold down left click on your mouse to zoom in or zoom out. 